Well, hello, you're back with the hairy one himself, called Dude Clem. And I'm going to do more tape recorder experiments today. Now, you may remember the old um, pedo Scott that I've got. Well, I don't think the heads on it are very good, so... That's what I'm going to test today. Somewhere around here, I have... There it is. A head, which I have ripped out of an old um, hi-fi. I was going to do a presentation on it, but after seeing what Spats Bear 2 did with a 90s hi-fi, when he just completely destroyed it, I thought, what the hell, it's from the 90s, don't need to do a presentation on it. So anyway, if this head works better than the head that's in the recorder, I'll know it's a bad head. So here it is on the bed, all ready to go. Now it's still got its original head in it, and um... As you can hear, it does play. But if I try to make a recording on this... My dad acts like he belongs, y'all. He belongs in the zoo. Right, just plug a microphone what? in. I'm the saddest kid in grade number two. Okay, let's stop that before I get in, into any copyright infringements here. Now, I've got this little microphone here, which is out of a, well, it's like an electric condenser microphone. Now I'm going to make a recording on this and play it back so you can hear how it sounds. Just to get my levels adjusted here. Okay, I'm making a recording on the Pedo Scott, which for a long time thought was Petro Scott, but if you look at the name, if you look closer up at the name, there is no R. But anyway, I'm now going to re rewind this and remember to not turn the tape recorder off before I have finished talking. So just rewind that. Okay. I'm making a recording on the Pedo Scott, which for a long time thought was Petro Scott, but if you look at the name, if you look closer up at the name, there is no R. But anyway, I'm now going to re rewind this. Remember to not turn the tape recorder off before I have finished talking. Now that did sound okay, but I believe this could sound better. Because that does not record as much highs as it should. So now I'm going to do the experiment with the tape heads. Okay, well, I've put the new head in, and it doesn't seem to work too well. You can see where I've soldered it on. But I'm not getting too much of a good response out of this. It does play with the new head, but not very well. I have to turn the volume way up. It does increase the high frequency response a little bit, but... I just have to hold it in place, because I haven't secured it on properly yet. So as you heard, playback is pretty weak, and as for recording, well, I'll just demonstrate that right now. Let's make sure, just get my levels adjusted, and hold the head in place. Now I am recording on the Pedo Scott using the new head out of an old stereo. And I do not think that the amplifier likes being connected up to this head because 
it makes a very weak recording. And sometimes it doesn't make a recording at all, so... Let's hear if it recorded anything at all. Hold the head in place. Now I am recording on the pedoscope using the new head out of an old stereo. And I do not think that the amplifier likes being connected up to this head because it makes a very weak recording. I don't know how well you heard that. It actually did manage to record something that time. I now have that same tape in my one of my other reel-to-reels, and now I'm going to play it. Now I'm recording on the pedal spot using the new head out of an old stereo. As you see, and I do not think that the amplifier likes being connected up to this head because it makes a very weak recording. The level meter barely moves at all. Now what I've got here is the original head out of the pedo Scott and I've got it connected up to the microphone input on the reel to reel and I've put the monitor switch onto source so it is only picking up from this head and just to prove it I will touch it with something magnetic so you can see that is picking up from this head now I'm going to start the tape and put the head there. Now let's see how well this head works. Just trying to get it aligned. Okay, now that sounded alright, but let's see what it sounds like with the other head. Okay, this is the quote-unquote replacement head, and before, like before, I'm going to start the tape and put the head up to the tape. And let's hear how this head sounds. Now, I don't know how well you can hear that, but the highs are a lot crisper. So that pretty much proves that the um, that the head is not as good as it could be. Well, that's just about the end of the video now. Clem's put my original head back in, and so I can still record and play. But if anybody does know where I could get a new head apart from eBay, I would like to know. But anyway, until next time, goodbye. Oh.